if you can't find stone, you could find shell. Now, same thing with shell. You don't want to breathe this in. If you're shaping it, you're going to want to do it underwater. I'm just going to show you real quick. Just one piece. I'm not going to mess with this too much. But it flakes like rock. Now, this edge is super sharp. It's called an organic point. You could flake the edges. You could thin it down. And you could make a knife or a hunting point out of this. Just don't breathe it in. And that would be called an organic hunting point. So we're going to finish up on this beach. There's a seagull out there. So right here is a piece of floor tile. Now one of the things I wanted to show you about, I was hoping I would find some of this. You're going to want to take a little, what, I, what is called a hammer stone, tiny one. You find a ledge and you're going to take flakes off the tile. This piece here will make an arrowhead. All right, here's a good example. So I just hit here and it flaked that piece off. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you find the next, it's called a platform. A place to hit, a platform. And it's at, a, it's at an angle like this so that your hammer stone has a spot to grab onto and peel the flake off. And if you keep doing this all the way around, you'll wind up with what's called a preform. And this could be further shaped with antler or your flaking tool of choice. You just start flaking the edges and then you could stick that onto a spear or onto an arrow shaft and tile. Uh, it dulls very quick but it is very sharp. And you could work this whole piece with just a little tiny hammer stone like this. You just keep tapping, not too hard. If you do too hard, you'll break it like I did before. But this, I just sharpened up this whole edge. And you just do that all the way around. So floor tile you could find pretty much anywhere, any kind of ceramic tile. You could find them in creeks, you could find them on beachfronts, you could find them even on old properties. But uh, it'll work. It's brittle. It breaks easier than flint or quartz, but you can use it. And um, you're just going to want to grind the edges to smooth it out to get your hammer stone or to give your flaker a place to grab onto to peel the flakes off. Um, I'm not really seeing too much of these other little beaches with those sounds. That is a seagull. Um, so I'll also show like um, things that you know normally you wouldn't think of to make a tool for them. Something like this. And what you could do with this and you know people are always carving spoons and such and you don't really need to carve a spoon you could just pick up a shell and tie it to a stick and you have a spoon just make sure you clean it first because it's kind of gross it's been laying there for a while see so we're eating it um i was talking to leah on the ride over to this beach and she was saying she wasn't aware that shell could flake 
which it can, um, even these clamshells, you could flake and shape, but as I've said, you want to be really careful with shell. You don't want to inhale it. You want to, if you're flaking it, you want to try to do it underwater or in a very ventilated space and keep it away from your face. But um, all these you could use as tools. The flatter you find, the better. I mean, if you um, find one like this, that's pretty good. And you could shape that and use that as a hunting point. There's a shotgun shell washed up on the beach. Um, the other things that you can use that I will be showing if I find them around here is a uh, slate, shale, basalt, uh, certain silicified shells, like uh, silt stones. Um, the other ones would be, it's called chalcedony. Apparently there's some of that around here. I haven't found any yet. But uh, I'll be looking and I'll show you guys what it is as I find it. But for right here, um, there's a little pile of rocks right over there that I'll look at before I head out. Uh, anything that will flake, anything that will produce a sharp edge, like a knife edge. And you could do that, you could test them just by cracking off a flake like I showed before. When you crack off the flake, it should make a cone, a cone of percussion. And the edge of the flake should be razor, razor sharp when you touch it to your skin. If you touch it too hard, it'll cut you. And that's how you know you can use that particular rock as a tool. Just be careful with it, it's just sharp. I found maybe uh, three or four rocks that might be good. But this side is good. This is pure quartz, but this side is not good. So you're gonna wanna knock that away. I would hit right here to knock this off, but you can't flake this stuff. It's uh, it almost looks like a granite on, on the quartz. But this whole section here, this whole ridge, if you hit right here, you could get a nice big flake coming off this line. You hit right into there. And actually, I'll uh, I'll just demonstrate it real quick. Let's see if there's a decent hammer stone. So, hammer stone, edge. See where I made those dots? That's where you want to hit. Now, if that would have held together, it actually would have broke that whole piece off, but I didn't hit hard enough. But, like I said, razor sharp edge, and it'll cut you. Cut me open, see that? And you just want to be careful, it will cut you, look. Right through, like nothing. So, stuff like that you could use for cutting tools and just be careful. Know what you're doing. Don't hurt yourself. And learn the angles of where you're hitting. So, like, if I wanted to take this whole piece off here, this whole bump, this whole stuff that you can't use, you're going to want to hit, like, right there, right where I made those dots. I'll see if I could do it. As I've said, this stuff is really hard. Compared to flint, you really got a whale on it. I don't want to hurt myself right now trying to do this. There we go. All right, so I hit right there. You can see where I hit. And off pops the crap you can't use. So now I have a somewhat flat piece of quartz here. That if I had the right tools, I mean, you could sit here and whale on it with a hammerstone. But if you had the right tools, like a even a heavy antler, you could shape this down into a spear point, no problem. But I'm not going to do that for now. And I got to pick up the flakes I dropped. All right. So that's the other thing when you're doing this, you're going to want to pick up your flakes. Don't leave them behind. Um, sometimes what I do is I bring them home and I put them in a rock tumbler. It makes really pretty jewelry. Maybe I could show that in another video. But what I do with my waist, it's not waste, it turns into jewelry. It's very pretty. And that'll bring with me. I'll experiment with this piece. So one of the things I always uh, teach people is 
as you're doing this, as you're experimenting, everything you do, you're learning. As you're smacking on this, you're going to learn the angles that could take off the rock, and you learn how to shape it, and you learn what works and what doesn't. And, you know, I didn't think I would be able to be able to get a flake like that off of this one, just because of how crummy this stuff looked. But I figured, hey, what the heck, hit it, and got that off. So, just always experiment. I keep saying that, but that's what I'd do. Pretty scenery. But this, uh, this beach here doesn't seem to have too many rocks on it. It looks pretty combed. More to come. I'll be filming these locations uh, with some tips and tricks. And share more of what I know with you guys. Always experiment with this stuff. You never know what you'll discover. <clears throat> I hope you learned something with these lithic points, lithic identification, and stuff that isn't commonly used in flint napping in modern times. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe. Share the video if you want to. And uh, we'll get back to you soon with more stuff like this. Also, keep sending in those ideas because I'll make these videos for you. I'll show you how to do it. I did these with hammer stones. Somebody requested hammer stones. You got a hammer stone video. So keep sending them in. Thanks, guys. Does anybody know what I'm going to do with this? It's going in my pocket. It's a hint.